shit out. When I hear people say they finally got into therapy when they actually need an exorcism. <laughs> I charge by the hour. All right, Woody and Riz, and right before the break, we were going into our Valentine's Day segment. We had some other stuff planned, but screw that, buddy. <laughs> Chris called in. Yeah, hold on. Let's get uh, Chris back on the line. Hey, Chris, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, I'm going to recap quickly for everybody who's uh, just tuning in. So Chris called us up, said that he uh, had an initial plan to, to propose to his girlfriend on Sunday, on Valentine's Day. Now, how, how long have you guys been together? Five years. Five years. All right. So she's thoroughly expecting it. Now, he's been hearing from some of her friends. I guess she found the ring at some point. So she's yeah. been going around uh, saying that Telling all her friends. And this is the weekend. This is the he's weekend. He's propose. Right. Doing, you know, this is what girls do. They get excited about it when they think it's coming. Well, but, especially uh, on Valentine's Day. Now, here's the thing. Chris also found out that uh, she's been seen out in town with this guy who she's always claimed was her friend. Just a friend. This guy named Eric, right? Yep. So, I mean, hopefully this works out and she doesn't get to, you know, I, I think I have an idea on how to keep her on the line so she won't freak out. I can't just say, hey, Chris wants to talk to you. No, well, there are a couple people also texting in with their suggestions yeah. as well. I got ideas. All right, so, Chris, are you ready? Sure. Are you yeah. sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm. You I'm, may be going down a dark path, Chris. Okay, I'm just saying five years is a long time. and like you, you're, you, Are you sure you want to dump her? Yeah, I'm positive that I want to dump her. All right. Well, here, hang on. I'm going to don't say anything, okay? Okay. Uh, we're going to call her right now. Hello? Hi, is this Ashley? Yeah, this is Ashley. Ashley, it's Woody and Riz from 1057 The Point. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? How the hell are you? You sound, uh, you sound confused. Are you okay? We're, by the way, before we go any further, we are live on the radio right now. You're kidding. No, we are on the air. Are you, uh, are you a listener of their show? You know our show? Well, I know you're so. I can't say I'm a listener. My boyfriend's a big fan of yours, but uh, but I, I'm not a listener myself. Do you know what I mean? So you don't I hear listen. You. Yeah. Well, she's a woman. She doesn't listen. Of That's course. true. <laughs> well, she doesn't listen in general, and then she doesn't listen to the show. All right. Well, Ashley, listen. You know, Valentine's Day is on Sunday, and yeah. uh, here's the deal: we're doing a segment on the show this morning about the most creative ways to propose to your wife or girlfriend. Now, we had another one of your friends call in. Do you have a friend named Melissa? I do have a friend named Melissa. Melissa called in and told us that you are getting engaged this weekend. Now, how do you know this for sure? I can't, okay, first of all, I can't believe she called and told you that because I told her under strict confidence. But, um, well, I've been with my boyfriend for about five years now. Yeah. And, uh, well, uh, that's not the only reason. I, I kind of stumbled across a ring. All right, so you were snooping. That's not the reason we're calling. We're calling because we're doing a segment on the most creative ways to propose. So we figured that if your boyfriend is listening, maybe he can get some ideas on what would be the ultimate proposal. Like, what, like to you, like what would be the ultimate proposal? Like not like a scoreboard thing, right? That's kind of you know. Oh no, no. Or, 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 a, ring, or a ring and a glass of champagne at dinner or in your dessert, right? No, because then it gets messed up. Like, who wants a ring with cake all over it or mousse or whatever, right? Right. Um, no, I, I, I have to say that my tastes are pretty simple. Um, I mean, it, I guess it... Like, how would the evening go? Would it be during the day or at night? Oh, definitely at night. Definitely right. at night, because that's just more romantic. But... Like a down, on, a down on one knee kind of thing? Yeah, how's the evening go? Do you go, to go, you go to dinner first, to go to a nice dinner, or are you guys just, like, going to, like, a favorite kind of hole-in-the-wall Chinese place? I think, I mean, that's not even so much. I think, like, dinner happens before, yeah, for sure. But, but where isn't maybe as important? I mean, hopefully there's some candlelight and it's, like, a nice place. But, but I, I just, I, I couldn't bear a public proposal. I don't know why, even though I know I want to be with him forevermore. So you're not into, like, the get down on one knee thing in front well, of the whole restaurant and everybody claps? But, but not in a public place just because I don't know why. Are it's you sure? Private. Are yeah, you sure? I mean, would you say, let me ask you, would you say no if it happens? No, happened that way? no, God, no. But I just, I get embarrassed, like... I just, that sort of for me is embarrassing. So a, a really beautiful dinner and then at some moment on the way home or when we're alone together. Ashley, Ashley. Yeah? We have a uh, surprise for you this morning. On the line with us right now is Hi. Ashley's boyfriend, Chris. Chris, hey, welcome to the Chris. show. Oh, my God. And uh, Chris has something he would like to... 
ask you? Um, Chris, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Hey. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh. Well, Ashley, we we've been together for you know five years now, and uh, I've I've really loved you with all of my heart, and um, you know I dreamed of of spending the rest of my life with you, and I saw kids, I saw a future, um, and and I felt that way since the day I met you. Um, <clears throat> I guess I just have have one thing to ask you then. Uh, uh... Um. How long would it take Wait, for you to move oh, all of your... I need to take a deep breath here. Can I just have a second to take a deep breath? Yeah, please take a deep breath. I'm kind of freaking out. Hey, Ashley, you know you're on the air right now. You're live, right? I know. You told me that. She's okay. getting to vape this. Yeah, and you're, this is a very public thing right now. Are you, are you still okay with it? You just said that you wouldn't want a big public spectacle. Well, you know, I'm gonna take it. I'll take it however it comes. Yeah, she will. Well, why, why don't you just take a deep breath? And, uh, Chris? Just take a deep breath here and, and uh, just let me finish, all right? All right. I, I guess the the big the big question here that I want to ask you, Ashley, is how long will it take for you to get all your crap out of my house? <laughs> what? Ashley? <clears throat> Ashley, are you there? I, I is this some kind of joke? No, it's not a joke. How long will it take you? Because you got until Sunday. What? Oh, Ashley, what? are you there? What is? I don't understand what is going on right now. He's really? dumping you. Don't understand, a Ashley. He's You're dumping just... you. Hey, hey, why, why don't you answer a few more questions, Ash? Um, so, uh, seen out twice this week, twice with Eric. What's that about? Who's Eric, Ashley? He's a good friend of mine from forever ago. We... Okay, okay, when you say good friend, I, I just want to be really clear here. When you say good friend, does that mean making out in the corner at a bar? Which is pretty, which is pretty brazen, you know. You go to a bar, and you're cheating with somebody on somebody who you've been with for five years. You would think you would go to like some some private location, go to his apartment at least. What? I don't. My even friend know saw you. About. Hello, Ashley. Ashley, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what do you have to say? So, Eric, I mean, I'm sorry, Ashley. You've never screwed around with this Eric guy. This guy's just your friend. Yeah, we're, we're right just... Right there, right there, the hesitation. Yeah. There should be no hesitation. Right. <laughs> Ashley, have you ever done anything that... Oh, let's, let's put it this way. Have you ever done anything with Eric that you wouldn't do right in front of Chris's face? Well... well yes or no? I made a couple mistakes. Screw you, Ashley. No. Screw you. Answer the stupid question. I'm answering the stupid question, okay? I said I made a couple mistakes a few months ago, and I've always known that you're the one I want to be with, and I realized it was a mistake, and I stopped it right away. Yeah, you stopped it right away. Is that why last week people saw you? He was trying to, to bring that back around again, and I told him that it can't happen because I love uh, you. Hold on. No, wait, hold on. Ashley, let me ask you a question. I hear it was happening. Ashley, let me ask you a question. So he said it happened like last week that you guys were making out. Did you find the ring and know that Chris was going to propose to you before or after? Like, did, did you find the ring before or after you were making out with this Eric guy? I, before or after? I met with this and tell him that if he You're kept disgusting. trying to keep You're it disgusting. going, I could never see him again. <laughs> You cheated. What kind of people are we? You what cheated. Kind of people are we? Ashley, happy Valentine's Day, baby. I hate you. Yeah, well, you and weren't listening anyway. You, weren't even, you weren't even a listener. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, she hung up. <laughs> Chris, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> well, I'm not, I don't know if I'm okay, but I'm glad that I know now. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you knew anyway. Just, you know. God, how long have you guys been living together? Uh, About three years, actually. You know I'm going to be fine. No, right. no regrets. I just want to make I mean, sure. All right, Chris, uh, I, I hope you have a decent weekend. Man, if I were you, I would just um, try to stay out of the house. Hang on. Don't, don't hang up because I want to yeah, get his phone ha- number. Yeah, so we can check you back in. That's the one mistake we made.
before. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, Chris, hang on, okay? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, buddy. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> 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 Bitch be tripping.